Hey there, friends. Kevin here from the Chord Progression Podcast, the podcast inspiring young rock and metal fans to discover new music and find a place they can connect and feel accepted. So welcome to this reaction bit from the podcast with our friends of the band, Woe Is Me. Now that they're back after 10 years in playing live shows, that layoff, you know, it's going to be a little bit different playing shows. And the guys experience that right away, going from the last time they played shows in their 20s, now in their 30s, being, you know, family men, being dads, full-time jobs definitely have to get used to it so what is some of their stuff that they're having to deal with check this out right here before we go into it though make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button which is over here i think in order to make sure that you're staying in touch with the corporate Rush podcast and getting to know many 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 of the great bands that we have coming up on the podcast as well so without further ado let's go to it dude speaking of that so we got our set we were, we were headlining in florida for, we played orlando and tampa and, you know, three or four days prior, we got the set times from the promoter. And in our heads, we're like, ah, we might play like 9.15. We had 10.30 set times, both those shows. And we all go to bed like before 10 o'clock because I mean, we all work early mornings at home. And we all saw the set times. We're like, how are we going to make it? So I haven't had an energy drink in quite a while. But I must have killed like four energy drinks a day trying to stay awake till 10.30 to play. And then I got on stage. I was like... I was like, what is this? This isn't my pillow. I was like, this is a beach guitar. I was like, I was like, I don't know what to do with this at 10 30 at night. Awful man. <laughs> we had fun, don't get me wrong, but we were like, dude, this is way too late to be playing this show. That's that was rough. I mean, I wake up at like 4 30 for work. I'm laying down at 8 30 most of the time. So yeah, that messed with me big time. All right, first off, that is just funny, especially coming from the guys in Woe Is Me. I mean, I, I mean, a lot of us can relate to that as well. You know, when we were in our 20s, you know, early 20s, 21, 22, 23 years old, you know, following along with Bring Me the Rise and Diamonds Aren't Forever with the mantra of we will never sleep because sleep is for the weak, we all follow along with that. I'm 28 years old and I still follow along with that where if there's concerts I want to go to, it's like, oh, I'm not getting enough sleep to go to work the next day. I'm like, screw it. I'm going to enjoy that concert a lot more then I would, you know, remembering getting enough sleep to go to work the next day. However, when it comes to being in that routine, being in that mindset of, you know, you got your schedule set up for humans where creatures a habit. When the guys are used to getting up early, like uh, Ben had said, get used to get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to work. And then Corey, you know, not used to staying up past 10 and then having a set time, their, their headlights that go on at 10.30. You know, if you're used to being in bed by 10 and you're having to go on and stage at 10.30, you're used to being in bed by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, that's a big difference. That's a big transition we have to deal with. So hearing about the guys trying to get back into the swing of things with that, you know, hearing Corey chug four energy drinks in a day to make sure that he's ready for it and still ready to fall asleep on stage. First off, maybe don't drink four energy drinks in a day because, you know, I don't think that's the most, most healthy thing in the world. Secondly, I mean, that's kind of just funny, but we all are going through that. We all are experiencing that. And the best way we can do to, you know, continue to make sure that for us personally, that, you know, we still have that energy is, uh, you know, eat right, work out more, just make sure you're getting proper rest at times, but also make sure that, you know, when time comes that you have the energy. Yeah, I'm not saying energy drink doesn't help out every now and again, even though I try and stay away from usually for shows I'm going to travel, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to take one. But it just shows that, you know, these guys, it's like, yeah, they're coming back and, you know, they might sound fantastic live just, you know, after 10 years, but there's always going to be some growing pains continuing to go in there. So as well as we continues on, maybe the guys are getting used to staying up later, but I I'm pretty sure, you know, just hearing this, the guys are going to definitely, definitely want to take a nap after a show so or go to sleep. So you might not see them hanging out or partying very much after these shows. So, yeah. Might catch them early, though, because, you know, these guys are early guys, early risers. Going to be ready to do it. So I love this bit from the podcast. I hope you guys love it, too. If you want to watch the whole entire thing from Woe Is Me or listen to it on any uh, streaming service like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Amazon, go to the description of the podcast. I will have the link for the full YouTube video of the interview down there for you to check out. I'll also have the audio stream links as well. Please make sure to like this video, uh, subscribe to it. And put in the comments what you thought about this. And if you're struggling now staying up late for shows, I I'm still not somehow. But you know what? I'm just going to keep following along with Bring Me the Rise. It's, we will never sleep because sleep is for the week. And we will fucking rest until... Oh, I fucked that up. 
I really messed that up. I am sorry, Ollie. I am sorry, every Metalcore fan, Deathcore fan, every Breathing Rise fan. I am sorry. Hope they play it when they play live, though. So, thank you for everyone for watching this uh, video from the Core Progression Podcast. My name's Kevin. I'm out!